£80,000 profit is what Xavier is looking to make on this property flip. A few weeks ago, we came down to his one to two bedroom in South London and we was looking around and there were some things that we loved about this project and there were some things that we weren't too quite sure about it. But in this episode, we're going to go through exactly what challenges he's faced and see exactly how it's turned out. So I'm here with Xavier here. Thank you again for inviting us back down here. Now, tell us. Tell us what's going on. Like, we can all see how amazing this project looks so far. So just take us through what's been going on. So since you were last here, um, a lot's happened. We've actually completed now, and the project's about to go to market. Um, nice. I'm very happy about the end result. Yeah, look happier then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so especially with the finishes. So, um, yeah, we just go through we're currently standing in the open plan kitchen space um with these sandstone kitchen units which i could say are actually my favorite part about this space here as well as this lovely fireplace this right here that um was built from scratch by the contractors which was a very good idea um beyond that we've also got the paint which is sort of like an Egyptian cotton um, which fits lovely with the kitchen units as well as the black accents that we've got going around from the taps to the door handles and the hobs and everything and lastly um, I think in the previous one we hadn't yet decided whether we were gonna have tiles or a worktop Oh yeah, like to, to match it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we decided to go for like a white herringbone sort of tiles that also reflect with the flooring and also gives it maybe like a Victorian feel. We mm. thought that that's something that we wanted to get done in this. Yeah, so. no, looking really, really good. And I would definitely agree, this is my favourite feature about this, this project here, especially when you come in here, it just gives that, that homey, warm feeling. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah it, it even looks original, to be fair. It looks like it's been restored, and they've done such a great job, and it's a nice feature. I think it contrasts very well with the kitchen. All right, then. Let's play a bit of a game, because I think it'd be quite interesting. As we go through it in the last episode, which you guys, if you're looking to see the last episode, just click here somewhere, and you'll be able to go back and watch that. It was very detailed and we spoke about a lot of the ideas, the challenges and just all about the construction process. Now we're here in this, the finished product. Yeah. I think it'd be quite fun for us to go through everything. Let's go through your favourite thing in each in each room. Okay. And then we'll go through the least thing that you don't you like in each room, right? Okay. And if you've got thick skin, we'll ask the people to also give them, to also give you the thing that they like most about it and yeah. the thing that they dislike most about it. And that's just how it is because naturally, as as developers, you always try something new, right? And yeah. you might it might come across you might say, mm, I really like this, and sometimes it's like I wouldn't do this on the next one, yeah. right? So with this, I would definitely say favorite thing you said kitchen and work and fireplace, right? Now. Yeah, so I know that's your favourite. Yeah, that's my favourite. Now, what would you say your least favourite about thing is about this room? Um, for this room... Oh, no, let's not even say reason, least favourite thing. Let's say thing that you would change if you can do it again. If you could go back in time, think one thing that you would change. Okay, um, I'd actually have to think about that because I actually like how this room is. Oh, that's, a good, that's a good sign. <laughs> that's a good sign. Yeah. I think maybe, maybe... If I could go back and do it again, it would be to change the accent colours. Really? Mix, mix it up a bit. Yeah, because I think throughout we've used a lot of black. I, I like it though. But I think the black is consistent throughout. Yeah. I think you are right, but I think it's too much. And I think that just breaking it a little. Mm, okay. just, to, just to break it a little. So... Whereas maybe the door handles are black, yeah, and the remainder of the flat has that. Maybe the the um, the switches and sockets could have been a different color. Like just, what, like a the, chrome or like a white or something um, like that. Could even have seen what sort of like a like a brass, just sort of like an antique, something different. Okay. You know, just so there was a different blend. You've got 
grey, black, and some form of gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just something a bit different. Oh, that's actually an interest. I did not expect you to say that because I would definitely say, again, the black accents is one of the things that I like most about this project. Yeah. But again, it's all different perspective what people like, and that's what makes property so interesting. Yeah. yeah. So you would say you break up the accents. Yeah. I know my one thing already. I'm sorry. I have to admit it. As soon as I come in here, I know my one thing here. What do you think my one thing is in here? Um, within this space yeah, here. Yeah, within this space here. Yeah. It's nothing to do with the kitchen. Okay, I'm just gonna say it because I know. I what know. is it? What is it? The the location of the heater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Location of the radiator. Yeah. You've got it behind this sofa here. It definitely for me would be under the window somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not the end of the world because of the amount of space you've got here already. So you've still got like a walkway passage there as well. So yeah, it flows quite well. So really good, really, really good job in here. Let's move on into the next room, which is bedroom number one. In this room, a really nice double-sized bedroom. This room was the original double bedroom, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yes, it was, which is good. Now, tell me favorite thing about this room. My favorite thing would have to be how we were able to restore this fireplace. I can't lie, that was my favorite thing too. Yeah. Like, this was definitely my favorite thing. Yeah. Yeah. And with this additional touch here at the time, Okay. Able to cut out. So, in part as, as part of this restoration process, right? Was that back tiles there as well, or was that also something that you guys installed? Yeah. So this is actually something that we fitted in ourselves. Um, I'm not sure if I showed you what it was previously like, but there was a lot of rock salt and everything was covered. Oh, okay. So once they dug it out, um, they tiled um, over it. Yeah, they tiled over it. I may have mentioned that downstairs the, the still fireplace uses. is still in use so yes, yes, yes 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 oh we can go into that anyway in terms yeah. of the issue but yeah that was something that we've installed ourselves okay. to add in as a feature yeah and again see when you're talking about the black accents i think this makes up the room in terms of the fact that you've gone for like lighter egyptian cotton colors and having this black feature, your, as soon as you walk in, your eyes kind of get drawn to yeah. this fireplace here. And again, it makes that warm feeling in this yeah. room. Yeah. Okay. Now that's again, I'd say my favorite thing. What would you say you would change about this room? I mean, to be honest with you, I changed the lights. Really? I changed the lights, yeah. Looking as, you know, even if we're looking at them now, I, I changed the lights. What would you change about them? Um, just the style. I okay. mean, if if we're going with something like this, which is very classical, um, again Victorian feel, you get something to like match the era. Definitely to match that sort of era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, I think for me, breaking up the colours a bit more. If we have something like this that just stands out and draws you in as soon as you enter, then maybe we can play around with the finer details a bit more but i'm i'm happy with how this room is but again i would change the lights <laughs> <laughs> now we can tell you are a man that's very particular yeah as you're talking about all the different finer details but i think it's also important to give yourself the credit in the sense that this is a palette that mm. is very that will appeal to many, yeah, right? Yeah. And when you're talking about breaking up the colours, they can do that with artwork, they can do that with different pieces of ornaments around. Like I can see in this room, you've got some gold accents in terms of for the staging, right? Yeah, Which yeah. does break up the black and the other colours in this room very well. So I think you've done a really good job again. So that's your least favourite thing in this room. I think one thing I would change in this room. I don't think I would change anything if I'm being completely honest. Mm -hmm. I think I would keep, I'd do this exactly like this. I think this works very, very well. I wouldn't change a thing about this room. I think this is, this, this is spot on there. Yeah. It's really, really nice. I'm excited to see how well it does on the market. And in terms of the viewers that do come and I think they're going to be wowed. Yeah. It's something that you can imagine yourself in quite easily. Especially where it's not too much to, it's not too left, it's not too right, it's very yeah. much in the middle. You can come in here, 
you can know where you're going to place like your chest of drawers and i think in terms of even your staging yeah. you've done a really yeah. good job as well yeah and let's go on to the next version we actually have to stop and admire this cabinet bit here because i remember we spoke about this earlier when yeah. we was when we came last time and this was going to be used to store the washing machine yeah and we were saying how much of a good idea that is and now it's being used as a general storage space as well yeah so we have it as a utility cupboard you've got the washer dryer in there um again for whoever comes in they may want to replace that and put another one above it but you could literally do there's just a lot of storage in here which is a very nice feature rather than leaving it as a dead space we thought we'd fit in this cupboard and just give them extra space to play with it as they wish you could store shoes you can store anything and i like the way that it's consistent with the kitchen design as well yeah, yeah. so in terms of how was that difficult to be able to make that all flow here or did you just get the measurements go back to howden and say we need this we need yeah, some yeah, sort yeah. of storage it's, space it's fairly simple it was all agreed um when we was actually doing that one got the measurements and got it as some additional larder units yeah no it looks really good okay cool now headed into the bathroom and for those that haven't watched the last video the bathroom is where i'd say i had a bit of different feelings i wasn't too sure about it and when i came in here obviously i looked around and i said Xavier how like good of a job he's done and I said that is the one room that I'm not going to go look at yet because I want an authentic first time reveal when I'm sharing it with you guys so the big reveal <laughs> the, the, the big reveal we ready yeah yeah yeah, yeah. We ready, yeah? <laughs> we're ready we're ready we're ready we're ready let's go okay Cue the music! Cue the music! We'll let the viewers decide. Yeah! Let them do the talking! Wow, remember in the comments, because if you lot go watch the last one and you remember what I said about this, I wasn't too sure about the towels. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of this. This is. I like it. You like it? Yeah! I like it. I, 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 like, I like it. I like it. it I think what makes it so, I would say, it's definitely the feature wall. Mm, the feature yeah. wall complements the tiles very nicely. So it does, because I couldn't have imagined this across the whole thing. When I was looking at it, I remember when I came, I said, oh, Xavier, I'm not too sure about this tiles. <laughs> but with the black accents, with this feature wall, this nice, big bathtub, it makes, it works works very very well and what I do like which is quite cool is this yeah. shower section I've seen these on the Pinterest boards man I've seen this this looks like a Pinterest board type of thing but you get the the complicated showers because I can see here if the drainage is down here and they've got a bathtub there and the thing like that so tell me tell me more about this then um, well, it's exactly as you said, it was straight off of the Pinterest board. Uh, we had a very big bathroom, which you don't usually get within these sort of spaces, and we couldn't decide what to do with it. We thought if you're getting, you know, a couple, uh, some may want a shower, some may want a bath. So we thought about how to best incorporate that space um, and having this large Victorian style sort of bar uh, was one thing in which we thought would work well and especially to have the shower right beside it so it has its own section and it's sort of away from the rest of the bathroom uh, we've got the back pool here where they'll be able to store all of their products shampoos and so on and so forth and even if one sec let me play with the feature Okay, okay, yeah. he's got ambient lighting, yeah? The wine. <laughs> Valentine's <laughs> Day. So, yeah, you know, I think this is, this is a big enough bar for two. Now, and this is one of the few bars that I see that makes me want to get in. Not like I don't like showering, but you know when you go into places, 
you see your you see your bath and it's like yo I'm not even just give me the shower because yeah. <laughs> I'm not even trying to lay in this but this is it's, it's, it's fit for a king you know? yeah. no, fit I mean, for a king it's, it's perfect you've got your overhead um, the rainfall for the shower even if you're in the bath you could still utilize it so defo defo a good good touch no this does give me hotel vibes yeah, I think yeah. with the rainfall shower, you don't get that often. That is very much. I mean, I'm in a big suite, you know. Yeah. yeah. Now, okay. Now, this beautiful bathroom. What is your favorite thing about this bathroom? And then, what's your least favorite thing? And what would you do different? Um, I think my favorite thing would be the bath. Like this, this area that we have here, being able to incorporate the bath with the shower and having the wall there with again the ambient lighting once you switch it off where you can just wind down yeah, um, yeah my probably. least favorite thing for me i have to stay consistent it would be the tiles yeah you know? and i don't think they're that bad i just think that there's too much going on with these tiles and that wall yeah, no, it's for me. It's one or the other. It's either floor to ceiling with the tiles, or it's you know more plain tiles, so the feature wall really stands out. You know, and potentially even the layout, because mm -hmm. originally when we had this, the old bath was on this side of the room. Yeah, and that was how you know we were debating, but. I would have kept it there. So yeah. I would have kept it there. You would have had the bath there, and then you would have had this whole area as its own separate shower. Yeah. So when you walk in, you have a walk-in shower. Yeah, yeah. As opposed to walking into the bath and shower combined, they would have been their own areas. Oh, okay. the, the shower space would have been a lot bigger. And then even in in terms of the touch, we've gone for this as in all glass, but I would have probably done halfway. Yeah. I'm not sure if you've seen on the Pinterest board. No, I haven't seen that. We have the, the, the bottom parts and even within there, you could have additional storage. I'll send it to you. Oh, okay. But yeah, yeah that's yeah. just, but again, that just comes down to the fine details yeah. of the design. And as it is, it's a lovely space and I'm sure whoever comes into it would definitely, enjoy would definitely it. think so. That's just some ideas when you're reflecting on what the finish is like and what could have been done differently but more projects to come yeah and more projects to come things. i think my favorite thing not like my not my like i can buy in it or like it matters yeah. that much but <laughs> i'd definitely say that back wall yeah beautiful and the bath like this whole thing here with with the with the knee pains i'm getting these days and <laughs> my injuries yeah. i would love to be able to come back home from a game of paddle and just sit in that bathtub and just relax, you know. Are you winning those games? Let's 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 see. <laughs> <laughs> I would say my least favourite thing, I do like this. I like this a lot, man. Wow. What a handsome young man. <laughs> I would say again, yeah, it has to be tiles, man. It has to be tiles. You know, it's it's lovely, the whole design. But you just can't fool me with these towels, man. <laughs> <laughs> can't fool me with these towels just yet. But yeah, I think, but it's not a big thing at all. I think it looks really, still, still looks really, really nice. Yes. And I like the way you put your boiler in here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, I think in. this is smart. This is very smart. Having it tucked away doesn't take up any storage space in the kitchen again. So, you know, you've got more storage space there as well. And it's completely out of the way and easy to access. Probably makes sense to have boilers in bathrooms, so I think that is a very, very good touch. Now, on to the money-making room. This is the money-making room, the one that was previously the kitchen and is now the second double bedroom. Yeah. And it feels luxury, like it feels luxurious, it feels, yeah, you did a really good job with this room, so tell me, what, what challenges did you face with this room? Did you even have any challenges with this room in particular? Um, no, this room was very straightforward, to be very honest with you. I think the only challenges was in terms of what layout do we put the bed. Yeah. I know your 
a man who's not fond of TVs and bedrooms. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, originally, we wanted the light stair with the bed, and I think we mentioned about having the window open. Yeah, the last window. Yeah, we changed so everything. we've decided to go against that. We've decided to have the bed this way. You can see the um, the bed lights there, and then it's going to be down to the next owner to decide how they want it. Me, my preference, I will just get a TV bed go straight up. Yeah. So I've got one of those. So <laughs> makes yeah. sense. Makes but, sense. Yeah. Other than that, very straightforward job. Um, yeah. uh, and what would you say your most favorite thing about this room is? Um. Carpets. Carpets. Yeah, they do feel very the soft. Carpets, hard yeah, they yeah, do yeah. feel very, very soft. I, I, I went and I had to pick these ones out myself. We've got some cashmere cashmere carpets in there. Yeah. For like a nice sort of brown colour. Something that could offset against the you know the walls. And the skirting yeah, boards as and well. The skirtings as well. Looks so. really nice against the skirting boards. And what would you say your least favourite thing or thing you change about this room? Um, I've gone for the position of the. Oh, the you bed. Did positioning up yeah. there. I, I, I didn't win. I didn't win that one, but <laughs> I, I would go for the position of the bed and where the lights are. I would have had it here, uh, I think, and leave that space there for maybe a wardrobe or a built-in wardrobe. Yeah. You no, know, because everything else would have been as is. And you have. Let's say you would have had a smaller chest of drawer there, but over there space for a lot of a lot of storage. Mm, okay, yeah, that's, that's that's how I would have done it. Quite interesting. I think one of my favourite things to contrast what you were just saying would definitely be the layout. I like the layout. As you know, a man that doesn't like TVs and bedrooms. Mm. I think waking up there, being able to see outside when there's light light coming in, it's quite a nice feeling. So I, I do like the layout of this room and I like the fact that the reading lights for some reason they just seem very effective in this room I don't know what it is about this room and this layout I like the fact that those reading lights are there yeah. and yeah it definitely be the layout and I just love the carpets in here as well so I think this would be my go-to room if I could pick but then again that room's got the fireplace yeah, yeah. The fireplace it's hard fireplace. And these are the these are the decisions and the facts that you want when people come to the viewing. They're like, mm, they feel like they have two principal suites, yeah. and especially when you've got a bathroom that nice, mm. you know, they it doesn't they don't matter. It doesn't matter what yeah. Yeah. what room. There isn't a compromise of if it's two sharers even looking to patch this together, two siblings looking to patch this together. It doesn't feel like anyone's losing, right? Yeah, definitely. You've both got good access into a big bathroom and you've both got nice big double size rooms. So it looks really, really good, man. Yeah, well, thank you. Now, we're just gonna have to go straight into this because people said, they heard me at the beginning, they heard 80,000 profit, 80,000 pounds profit is what he's looking for this. Now, tell us how we're gonna get to that figure. So that is the purchase price. So for the purchase price on here, we're looking at, it was 285. 285,000. Yeah, and, and then we have the cost of borrowing. Um, cost of borrowing along with the legals and everything in 45. Yep. And then you have your refer costs. Refer costs. Uh, materials and labor is 40. Yeah, so which is, I think, is a really good price. Yeah. We was able to get a lot done for 40,000 yeah. pounds. Now, this is being listed on the market, and what are you hitting on the market at? Um, 450,000. 450,000 yeah. pounds. So, that is a good, healthy, healthy yeah. profit margin. Yeah. Yeah. And I know it was a long purchasing process. But in terms of refurb process, that was quite different. How long did it take you to refurb this in total? Um, we had some delays uh, and a change of contractors in between, but... <laughs> How it goes. <laughs> it was supposed to be done within eight weeks, Yeah, slightly over that. So, ten weeks? Ten weeks. Yeah. So it's not bad. No, ten weeks worth bad. of headache, then you've probably got a few couple months worth of headache if the solicitors aren't pulling their feet now hopefully once the buyers get 
come go through convincing that goes all smoothly but i know you're a man that has something in everything in order so <laughs> everything they ask for yeah, yeah. i know you're going to be like here it is yeah. here's the license to alter here's the building reg certificate you're going to have everything in place so you shouldn't have too much delays on that side of things and you've had a lot of conversation and liaison with the three of them and things like that so you should be all good now eighty thousand pound profit which is absolutely sick like that like, congrats to you this is an amazing project thank you for sharing this with everyone thank and you for everyone allowing to be able to see it get inspired about all of this thing so yeah this is super super good and we look forward to it we know you've got another project in the pipeline yeah that's that's we're not too gonna say too much about <laughs> that just yet <laughs> we won't comment on that one but yeah but yeah we're looking forward to seeing more of you on this channel so thank you very much thank you thank you for allowing me before we close off i think it's very very important to outline the challenges that you had on this project right everyone's going to see the caption everyone's going to see eighty thousand pounds profit and be like this is what i want they're going to be shouting you know what ethan i want to get involved in these types of projects but they need to know the caveats so please tell us what sort of challenges did you experience on this project I think one of the biggest challenges was in terms of project managing it. Yeah. Um, as I've mentioned before, this was a JV. I'm still working. So it's in terms of when there are two people, as they say, too many chefs in the kitchen. So yeah. just when you're bouncing ideas and you may have different views, for example, the tiles and just having to... Um, collaborate yeah um, yeah but it's been good but also challenging in terms of maybe i want something one way but they may want something another way or um even in terms of when it's coming down to which trace persons use so let's say for example i may have an electrician that i want to use they may have an electrician they want to use so yeah in the end you have to agree on who you actually go to use or maybe even find someone different just so the choice was indifferent and it's fair but yeah just partnering up for me i think um i've done a few but that that's had its challenges um managing the project because i was unable to actually be here throughout the day yeah and so a lot of the times you're relying on someone else to sort of sign things off yeah obviously when you're making payments and so on and so forth uh, and then obviously if you come in and then something isn't how you want it to be you then have to say you know like yeah yeah we yeah. have to get them back and so yeah. on and so forth so these are just some of the caveats for people to be aware of when you know you're working on projects together so a lot of the times it's a good thing sometimes not so good i think for this one this this was a good turn up yeah no, no but it's, it's just yeah those some of those are the challenges or to be fair the biggest challenge was even quality in, in terms of the type of traits using you know one particular person for example let's say the paint um using the painter and the quality of standard not being great and having yeah. to find another one which added to the delays because you're not trying to make the same mistake by yeah. just hiring someone quickly because they're free. You may be waiting on someone who's better, but yeah. Or, <laughs> as I'm thinking about it, more things come. You have stakeholders. Yeah. So keeping everyone happy. Everyone happy, oh, especially. Tell me about it. Yeah, the <laughs> so, as mentioned with the fireplace, um, when we were exploring that, you had debris and stuff going downstairs into the neighbours fireplace. So oh, I would have been an angry neighbour. Yeah. <laughs> in terms of the, the plumbing, where, yeah. as you know, we were um, fitting in the the waste pipes into the floor. Not only just, but yeah, the waste pipes and stuff for the, for the shower yeah, area. The shower shower. And um, there was a leak. Yeah. There was a leak there that went down into yeah. the neighbours. Yeah, and then we had to sort that out um yeah other than that this one's been pretty smooth sailing i think it's been a quick turnaround 
Yeah, for eighty thousand pounds, doesn't sound too bad to be honest. <laughs> the problem is that it's too challenging, and I think it's very important that we do highlight the caveats to these types of deals, especially when people that may be jumping onto these types of flips may still be in work. So the challenges that you are talking about as being still being full in full time work, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. it's understanding how you're going to stay on top of the quality quality control of the work, especially if you're working all day and you're only coming back to see the tradesman at the end of the day and if you're in potential jb partnerships how you can go about settling and liaising with them at best because that's mm -hmm. which was an actually a really good point when you were talking about if both of you had someone that you want to use it might mm -hmm. be better off going with someone that's neutral grounds because mm -hmm. then there is no liability on someone because if for example we're in a relationship and we've gone to do a project mm -hmm. and then again what has happened is your builder messes up. Mm. I might look at you funny and be like, well, mm. what's going on? Yeah, However, yeah. if it's a builder that we both mutually agree to use, yeah. then it's and shared responsibility. Yeah, shared yeah, responsibility. Yeah. So I think that's a very important thing to highlight. Mm. So thank you, thank you very much. Now, if you like this video and you'd like to see more of these types of developments, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now, Xavier, please tell me where they can find you. Because it's changed, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, yeah, it's changed. So if you want to follow me, then you can follow me at Picture Me Developing on Instagram or YouTube. Yes, Picture Me Developing now, not Picture Me Baden, because I don't know who he thought he was. Now, <laughs> back, to, back to reality, it is, if you are looking to do developments like this, just remember to click the link below to join our free school community, learn property so you can learn to do deals and flips like this.